Yo, what up? It's Poison coming at you with another Once Human Settlement guide. This one's going to be an updated guide to an old one we've done for Ripplebee. Um, just because there's a couple changes as well as some new items to collect. So, what you're going to want to do to start off with is on your way to Ripplebee, you're going to want to start at the Ripplebee Market right here. And there's this little building right here, this little gray one. It's practically the only big building in the area. There'll be some enemies in the front that you're going to want to kill. And then once you've killed those, run into the garage. And on your right here, you'll find yourself a storage crate. Now run in the back and there'll be like this little van with some scaffold at the back. Run here. There's another storage crate. here now once you found that jump down and over here you got yourself the folk recipe for the shattered bread so we'll go back to base and check that out all right so over here between rippleby market and rippleby there's a this open field with one of these chests that's in the thorns so we go here get a Molotov cocktail or any sort of fire weapon throw it on those forms take a step back so you don't, yourself don't catch on fire and watch it burn give me the loot yeah give me the loot all right what do we got here the tactical smg mag nice all right so the tactical smg mag is a weapon accessory for the Vertex MP5 and MP7 series weapons, it gives you a reload speed of plus 15 and a mobility of plus 9. Wait, there's a um, there's a thing near here as well. All right. Okay, wait, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. All right, so right near that weapon attachment. The weapon attachment is like back here. Over here. There seems to be some kind of... Cr oh, wait, oh, shit, it's right here. Okay. Oh, he's running away. Get him. He's trying to get out of Doge. But you can't serpentine hard enough to dodge these bullets, buddy. Alright, so. The Rippleby Morphic Crate, I guess. Alt Cleansing. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. We're doing a little bit of cult cleansing. Alright, so. We got a crate up here. Hell yeah. All right, so after you do your cult cleansing, get yourself the gear crate and jump down for the rift anchor. <clears throat> so there it is. First gear crate and rift anchor are literally right beside each other. Gear crates in the, uh, the warehouse there. All right, so right here in Rippleby near the docks, you're gonna find this little car on the road then up here on the scaffold, there'll be a storage crate. And you're going to want to jump down to where there's like some little ritual going on here. And in the center right here, get yourself the gear crate. Number two. Going into the warehouse. It's an absolute army of dudes. Hey, you doing some kind of teleportation jutsu? How'd you get over there? Oh, and there's another one. All right, and uh, and and there's more. Holy! This guy's just straight bing chilling. Okay, now he's dugging on me through the staircase. What a fucking jigga chad! All right, we got a storage crate. Boom! Jam with bread, very tasty. They provided us snacks. Oh, hey, man. Trying to join your friends in heaven. Oh, there we go. And right here at the top of the warehouse, we have the weapon crate. Yee! So, Ripple B weapon crate right here in the long building. All right, so now we're doing the Ripple B gauntlet. This is where we go over here. And we now have to kill an entire town of enemies. 
We start by running up the rafters here. I am here. So we got this guy still chilling. Now, oh, here they are. I was going to say there's going to be bomb guys. Yep, don't want those to run at you. They'll one tap the shit out of you. See it? There's more than one. Boomba. Bomba. Coming after me too. Bomba. So oh, that guy did a little flip when he blew up. Holy shit, that's pretty sick. All right, so right here in Riffleby, after you've climbed up the scaffolding and kind of went on the, in the warehouse, which is like the ship, right here beside the fire, you're going to find yourself the folk recipe for the pumpkin salad. So we'll go take a look at that back at base as well. So once you've gathered that folk recipe, you're going to want to go through here, up here, and find yourself a storage crate. Very nice. And you're going to want to jump down. And in this room here, you'll find yourself the second Rippleby weapon crate. All right, so we're going to continue up here. Now there should be some ladders. Oh yeah, we got to go on the, the second second level here. Back to second level. Boom. First ladder. Now we're doing the gauntlet of ladders. I'm going to really get those quads in fire mode right now. Burn those calories. Hey, that's cheating. What are you just camping? Can we keep going here. Very nice. Hey, there's another guy. Get denied your swipe on me there, buddy. Alright, with this. Oh, shit. Alright, so now, just like before, you want to jump up here. And you got the mystical crate right at the top. Nice, nice. And then you're going to want to jump on the crane and glide across. Drop down. And you have the third gear crate of Rippleby. Boom. So that's it. All right, so checking out those recipes that we gathered from Rippleby, we have the pumpkin salad. So we'll learn that. Turned into potato salad is what it is. And uh, the shattered bread. So... It's like some kind of a Minecraft bread, it looks like. What's going on there? So, Shattered Bread. It gives you a 30-minute buff for plus 10 weapon damage. And there's no variable ingredient here, so pretty much you get what you get. And then you also get a plus 100 energy increase. And for the Potato Salad, you get a 30-minute buff called Sea Double, and it gives a 15% chance to get twice as many items when out in the wilderness. So this is your looter's fantasy item over here. Just making it rain with the loots. And you also get plus 80 energy as well. All right, well, that was the updated settlement guide for Rippleby. I hope you enjoyed. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. It really helps the channel. And if you want to see more settlement guides like this, I have an entire playlist that I'll link in the video description or subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.